Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Six Shadows. This is episode 12 of the Duo Official PvP series. Welcome back, guys. Montage is finally back. He's back, recovered from his surgery. He's online today. He's already started playing a little bit. I can see him taming a Fiomia out there. I think that's all that he's done so far. He hasn't been on for long. He also scouted out a Quetz. See, so yeah, that's the first thing we're going to be doing today. Heading out, taming the Quetz. Taming an Anki right after, getting ready for that two times is about to kick in. Now, in the last episode, you probably heard me say that I wanted a metal cliff platform for the base. I got one here. We're going to chuck the cliff platform up there, and we're going to store our flying dinos on it. And yeah, probably have a ladder to get up to it. Is this kind of waving at the camera? <laughs> so yeah, cliff platform up there. We're going to have hanging turret towers on it and some dino storage on it as well. But we'll do that later in the episode. For now, we're going to get that Quetz going ASAP. So it's going to take a really long time to tame. I think it's over two hours because it is level 95. This fucking idiot is still waving at the camera. So yeah, let's get kitted out, guys. Let's grab some Trank Arrows and let's head on out and get our Quets. So I just quickly made up 12 Spike Walls. That should be more than enough. Montage has the Tranks and the Crossbow, and yeah, it's pretty much it. Let's head on out and find ourselves that level 95 Quets. There we go. We found the Quets level 90. I think, our, what was our last Quets? Like level 20 or something, guys? This one's pretty, pretty good upgrade, even though it's going to take us a really long time to tame it. I think I might transfer over to Scorched and try and get some Mudden. So yeah, we got it perfectly stuck, guys. Got it blocked out with the RG. It's actually perfect positioning. If it does go down here, absolutely amazing. Yeah, just hopefully it doesn't die. It is getting quite bloody already. Easy. There we go. Fucking perfect. What do we get? Ooh, 1,000 weight. 1,400 stamina. Fuck yeah. Beast. Fucking love it. So yeah, there we go, guys. Quetz is down. You heard Montage. 1.4k stamina, 1,000 weight. We're going to be here for a good two hours. Thankfully, it's down in a really nice spot. We're finally back, guys. Two hours and 40 minutes later. We're back at the Quetz. It's on 99%, 79% effectiveness. Um, I actually used my method of transferring over to Scorched Earth to find sheep. So basically, the method, for those that don't know, throw a sleeping bag down at your team, transfer over to Scorched Earth, run over to Red Ob, check the timer. When the timer gets really low, you want to kill both the sheep, loot the mutton, transfer out, spawn at your bag. So yeah, that's what we did. Worked out perfectly. 99% almost done, finally. So yeah, we took it in turns, feeding it narcotics. I went to Mac as well, it was taming. That's McDonald's for all you people that aren't Australian. We don't have a saddle, so we're going to go back to base to craft one of those. And I'm going to work on the cliff platform ASAP, because we're going to get that up as a place to store the Quetz. There we go, guys. Quetz is tamed. We've got 1.5k stam and 1.1k weight, which is really fucking good, actually. A lot better than what we usually get, especially on the stamina. Can you drop me on top of it? <laughs> oh, you want to ride it back? Yeah. All right, ready? All right, let's take it back to base. <laughs> oh, back on it. Come, Come on, turn. Yeah. There we go, guys. Taking the Quetz back to base. We've got back to base. Montage surfing on the back of the Quetz. Okay, so we're back at base. The Quetz is obviously way too big to just be sitting around there. It's blocking a lot of turrets. So we're going to get the cliff platform up ASAP. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. I think Montage has gone out working on the Quet saddle and he's going to do the Yankee. So yeah, let's fly up and take a look at where we can put this platform. I have built this on single player. Like I have an idea of what I want. Just got to see what placements are available for it. So we've got that placement, which will give us half of a cliff platform. I kind of want more. Like I want as much of it sticking out from the wall as I can. Don't think I can really control that though. I think that's probably best. So let's go ahead and place one there. There we go. We got a decent amount of room up here. The quet should be able to fit. You can't actually fly down from up here, which is good. Uh, now we just got to go ahead and build the hanging platforms, I guess. It's not going to be too fancy. I just want it like... We want a hanging turret tower, so... I guess off this part here would be perfect. Right in the center, just hanging down. All right, we got a little bit of it done, guys. We're starting to pillar it down now. I can't actually make the hatch frames, I don't think. I'll have to double check that I have enough metal. There we go. That's what I was going for. After that, I just wanted to, like, ceiling off it like this and then have a hatch frame either side. And we'll probably do that two times. We'll do it two times for now. We can always add more later. For now, that should be fine. I may also need to add another tower later. You never know. Just like right next to it over here. Now that we got that built, we're also going to need some turrets on top of it as well. So we managed to make up some hatch frames. I still have the metal to make more, but for now, I just want to see if I want to place four hatch frames per thing or only two. So yeah, I guess we'll just do two on each side. So one there. And 
and one here. Perfect. And then I'm going to do the high level as well. Why not? Okay, so we got that down. I can also place one here, which I might actually do just to cover like the back of the base a little bit. It won't look good because it won't be lined up, but I think we kind of need one there. All right, it looks like Monta just taming a dung beetle. And I believe he has an Anki going. Yeah, down there, you can kind of see he's taming an Anki at the moment. Level 95. Anyway, let's continue on with this. So I want to bring it down one more. I think one more pillar will be enough. All right, that'll be our hanging turret tower for the time being. I think these turrets will have to be on medium, the ones hanging, because they might shoot down here, which we don't want them to do. So we also have to fortify the top up a little bit because we are going to be storing our dinos up here. All right, there we go. That's looking good, guys. I think that's how we'll have it. We might have two more hatch frames at the top, but for now, I think that'll do. We don't even have enough turrets to place up there. So as for turrets, I might relocate a few from the ground and chuck them on the hatch frames. So that's all I'm going to be able to do for now. I relocated some of the turrets from the ground. I didn't want to do any more than that because then the ground parts would be kind of weak. So up here, we've got a bunch of turrets. The cable's inside the pillar. So these turrets will be protecting the dinos that will be stored up here. Then I put a few turrets on here as well. Not too many, just six turrets up here. And just to give a little bit more coverage on the base, eventually it's going to be spammed to the shit with turrets. And we're going to have a couple of plant turrets just to slow people down. So the next thing I got to do for the platform is to find ourselves a way to get up there, which is probably going to mean we need a ladder. I absolutely hate ladders, but there's not really any way around it. One more ladder and then we should be good. There we go. Let's see if we can actually climb this. Does this actually work? <laughs> this is fucking so stupid. <laughs> but it works though, right? That's all that matters. All right, perfect. We got the dino storage area sorted. All right, there we go. Cliff platform is done or done for now. I can't make any more turrets. Montage's Anki is almost done. It's on 97%. Once this guy's done, we're going to go ahead and do a bunch of metal runs. There we go. Anki is tamed. It got 263 damage. And we're off. Our first metal run on the center. I'm not too sure of the best metal spawns. I know there's a really nice one inside the floating island. So that's the one we're going to go for first. Here we go. We haven't really leveled up the quest yet. It's only got 1.5k weight. So it's not going to be that big of a metal run. We're going to have to level the quests up at some point, uh, which is kind of annoying because there's no oh explorer my. notes here. One times right. <laughs> How much metal are you getting? 28, 30. I got 44 from that one. All right, we're just back from our first metal run now, guys. I'm just whipping up all the metal and we'll throw it into the forge. It was not a really good run because the quest has pretty low weight. Is that it? Yeah. That's pretty shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really shit. One times. I gotta find something else to do. Maybe I'll do the drops on the island. Ah, uh, so yeah, this is kind of awkward, guys. I just got done running the hard underwater cave. I'm back on server 40, our old island server. I ran the hard underwater cave. You can see I got some BPs, but I wasn't fucking recording. No one my luck. I don't know why, but it's been happening to me quite a bit recently. So I got these BPs. We actually got really nice flak leggings, uh, which is fucking amazing because obviously we lost all our flak leggings when we got wiped. Uh, we got a bunch of other useless stuff as well. The compound bow BP is decent. It's kind of low damage, but the durability is pretty nice and it's not too expensive to craft. Now I transferred out of the server and transferred back in because I want to run the easy underwater cave as well. That's what we're doing. We're almost over there and we're going to quickly run that just see if we can get any more flak BPs. After that, we'll transfer back to the center and then farm up a couple more turrets. And that's pretty much it for my plans for the episode. So yeah, let's cut to when we're at the easy underwater cave. There's actually four pearl spawns right here that I'm actually going to gather because, as I said, I do need pearls for more turrets. Don't know how many I'm going to get from just picking these four, but I'm going to do it anyway. Probably like 12 per. Six per. Okay, that's... I'm used to two times rates, I guess. Easy, guys. Easy 24 pearls. Let's get into the cave. Is that a drop down there? I think that's a drop. Here we go. Drop number one. Yellow drop. What do we get? Give me some flak, please. Anki saddle and Tyranodon saddle. God damn it. I really hate swimming in this part, especially when there's fucking electric eels on the ramp. Don't know what I can do. Maybe I can go around them, like over here. Alright, we're all good. Oh, that jellyfish almost got me. That is so fucking scary. Holy shit. Almost lost the flak leggings, which now that I think about it, I should have uploaded instead of carrying around with me. I think there's a yellow drop up here. It looks like it's shining. Perfect. Give me that flak. Come on. Ah, kangaroo saddle and a compound bow. 192 damage, which is actually not too bad. And there we go. We made it out alive. 
I'm going to go ahead and find a drop and then wait for the timer. I'm not even sure how long it's going to be. All right, let's check the timer. We got 16 minutes. That's quite a while. I'm just going to AFK in a bush, stop my recording, and we'll just cut back to when we're on our home server. I'm finally back at base, guys. I've deposited all my blueprints and shitty saddles that I got from the underwater cave. I've got my whip out, and now I'm going to head over to Scorch and do a quick pearl run. I'm not going to include it in the video because I did include it yesterday. No point recycling content. So let's go ahead and cut back to when I've got all the pearls. All right, and we're back, guys. We've got the electronics crafting at the moment. So yeah, I farmed up quite a few pearls. The timer on Scorched Earth was kind of against me, so I actually got to sit there for two spawns of pearls. So we're crafting up the electronics now. We've got a little bit of polymer. We got a little bit of metal. Not sure if we'll have enough to make more turrets. There's actually one in here. I don't remember how that got there. I uh, just need... Yeah, that's about it. we just got to wait for these electronics to craft, and then we should be good to go ahead and make a few more turrets. I want to scatter them around the cliff platform a bit and put a couple more on the hatch frames. So if I could make like eight or so turrets, that would be perfect. All right, so we can actually make 10 autos, which is fucking amazing. That's more than I even hoped for. So 10 autos plus the one we got in there. 11, that should be enough to fortify the cliff platform enough for the night. So yeah, let's go ahead and fly up to the cliff platform. I don't have an exact way that I want to scatter them. For now, we just want them all over the platform. There we go. So that's going to do... It's not too like... I'm not too worried about the placement. I just wanted them scattered all around the platform to make it annoying if someone was to land up here. Even if they do land up here, there's nothing they can really do because they can't actually get down. So from up here, they'd have to blow the cliff platform and then they'd fall down into the heavy turrets. So yeah, I think we're pretty secure for the night. Uh, obviously, we need a bunch more turrets. What are we at? We're at 43 out of 100 for now. So that's the weekend goal, guys, is to farm 57 auto turrets. Shouldn't take more than a day or two, so we should definitely be able to get that done. All right, so that will pretty much end the episode. There's not much more I can do at the moment, so I'm just going to wait out two times, which should start in the next couple of hours, but that'll be for next episode. Uh, it was a pretty productive episode again. We got the whole cliff platform building going with the hanging turret tower, and we made like 11 more autos, so it's pretty fucking good. Some of you guys might be shocked that there was no RG tame in today's episode. It's like a classic meme on the channel now, but both my RGs survived. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.